So, good morning. How are you? It's good to see everybody here today. Do you know what this is? You're right. It's a remote control. And what do we use it for? We use it for our televisions, our radios, I guess some, I don't know, toy cars, lots of things, airplanes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put it over here. We can turn things on and off. We can do lots of things with them. They have control, don't they? Yes. In our Bible story today, Jesus showed some people his amazing control over some of the things in the world. He was going on the Sabbath, on Sunday, to the temple to teach. And there was a man there who was possessed with evil spirits. That means he was just had bad things inside him. When Jesus went close to him, the man cried out, What do you want with us, Jesus? Are you going, have you come here to kill us? To destroy us? I know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. Be quiet, said Jesus. Then he spoke to the evil spirit. You come out. And you know what happened? The spirit came out and ran away. The Bible tells us that the people were amazed. They were surprised. They looked at one another and said, what's going on? There was power in the words that Jesus said. On that day, Jesus came in and took control of that man's life. And that man was never the same again. Jesus wants to come in and take control of my life and your life, but not in a bad way. And he wants to control the words that you say. He wants to control the things that you do, the places you go, the friends that you have. Why? Why would he want to do that? Because he cares for you. He wants what is best for you. He doesn't want anything bad to happen to you. The Bible tells us that God has a plan, a plan for each one of you, a plan for me, a plan for you. And it's a good plan, a wonderful plan. And Jesus wants it to happen inside our hearts. But we will never ever see that plan unless we do what Jesus wants us to do. Unless we let Jesus into our hearts. Let's pray. Dear God, we want Jesus to be in control of our life. We know that he wants what is best for us. And that is what we want to Help us to let Jesus come into our life, lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Bye-bye. See you next week.